DJI have now given us version 1.4.2 of their DJI Fly app. This is the app that is responsible for controlling the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, the Air 2S and the DJI FPV drone. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install it, exactly what's new and let's look at some of the features and see if anything's added or anything's missing. So let's get on with it. So let's talk a little bit about what's new on this app version then. We have the ads connection guide for DJI FPV to check how to connect to DJI FPV combo. We have ads color display assist when using D-Log to check color effects directly in camera view and that's available with the DJI Air 2S and fixes certain issues and optimizes overall app quality. The reason why I do these how to install videos is because very simply the DJI Fly app is no longer on the Google Play Store. If you have an Apple device or an iOS device in general then you will have seen that this update is now already launched. Similarly, if you have a Huawei phone or something like that with an aftermarket app store all of their own, this app will be on there. But for everybody else on Android, you're going to have to do it the manual way. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. So first of all, what we need to do is on your phone, you need to open up the web browser and you need to type in DJI. These are some links that I've already done, so I'm just going to click any of them, it doesn't really matter. So if we scroll down, you can see the latest version is 1.4.0. However, that's actually not the case. All we need to do is simply click it, and then you will see it is actually downloading the version 1.4.2, which is the correct version which is recently launched. So what we're going to go ahead is download that, and then we're going to install it. As you can see, it's not going to overwrite any of our data, so this should be a nice quick and simple one. And as you can see, that now is fully installed. So let's quickly go into our settings just to confirm what we've just seen. And as you can see, we have DJI Fly App 1.4.2 Build 1006. Nice and simple. So to test the app stability then, I went out and did some flights this morning. And I have been flying the DJI Air 2S, the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2. Because I was planning to do a footage video and that will be coming up shortly. So do look out for that. Now I have noticed absolutely no difference in any of the menus or anything like that. And my app performed absolutely perfectly and was completely stable. And to be honest with you, I didn't actually notice any discrepancies between between the height but like I said let's just see what happens on a longer term scale I didn't get it every single time when I reported that in my previous video to do with the discrepancy uh, showing possibly higher or lower than what it actually was so I am being made aware that some issues with iOS and charging your device it seems that this app update has taken away the ability to charge your iOS device now or it's certainly at least the option to turn it on or off now whether this is a permanent fixture or whether this is going to come back I'm not entirely too sure but anyway I'm sure many of you will not be happy about that some of you might be I don't know let me know what you think in the comment section below so thank you very much for watching and like I said that is how you download the DJI Fly app if it's not on the Google Play Store like I say, you can wait for it to install itself, of which it will do that at some point. But if you're eager and want to test it out, then feel free to do it using the method explained in this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.